As a beginner of the bass guitar, there's a few things you need to know, mainly with learning your fretboard and your notes. So I'm gonna give you two exercises to help you do that today. So first and foremost, I believe that every beginner should know certain scales. And I believe that there's five scales that you would need to know as a beginner to help you through your journey of learning the bass guitar. Number one is a major scale. Number two is a minor scale. Number three is a major pentatonic scale. Number four is a minor pentatonic scale. Number five is a blues scale. I believe that these five crucial scales will help you navigate through almost any song. Well, most common songs anyway, because most bass lines, if not all, are based off of some type of scale. And I believe learning these five different scales will help jumpstart that process. Okay, so now that we've covered that, what if you're playing a song and somebody calls out a note to you? It's very important to know your fretboard or know the notes on the fretboard. And there's an easy way, the first exercise is showing you a simple way to learn all of your notes in one position. So the first one, So that's the first exercise and the concept is learning every single natural note on each string. An easy way to think about this is playing three notes per string starting on the lowest note. So our first lowest natural note is E, then we have F, then we have G. So three notes on that string, on the E string, next string, the A string, we have our open string, our natural A, B on the second fret. C on the third fret. That's our three notes for that string. The D string, obviously we have a, a natural D for this string. E, second fret, D string. F, third fret, D string. That's our three notes for that string. G string, G. A, second fret for that string. Now the fourth fret for B, on the G string, and that's our three notes for that string. So you've learned every single note that there possibly is, every single natural note. And if you want to find an, an accidental, meaning a sharp or a flat, all you have to do is raise the note or lower the note. The rule for that is sharp, raise, flat, lower. Okay, so if I want to find a G flat, I can use my first string, E, F, G. Now flat means lower, a half step, G flat will be right there. So you've technically learned every single note, including sharps and flats, because all you have to do is go a half step away from the natural note that you've already learned. So don't worry about it. There's plenty more bass lessons and beginners lessons and courses at DerekBennett.com in the Bass Nation Academy. Go check that out if you're interested and you wanna level up your bass playing to that next level. On to the second exercise. Now the second exercise is a little bit more challenging, is learning the notes on one string versus learning them up the string. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take it string by string, the E string, the A string, the D string, and the G string. We're gonna go up to the 12th fret for now. So I did mention it was going to be a little challenging, right? So if you think about it and break it down in each string, it's really not that difficult. So we're going to go string by string. Let's start with the first E string. All of our notes on the E string, the natural notes, E, F, G. We know those three already because of the other exercise. Now we're going to go up a whole step to A. And then we're going to shift with our first finger, B, second finger, C. And I have this written out for you so you guys can follow along. D, fourth finger, and then we're gonna shift up to E. That's gonna be our last note for now. It's just a nice exercise, a nice simple exercise to go from E to E on this fretboard so you know at least these notes here. And then we'll focus on this part of the bass or this register of the bass at a later date. Next string down, A. We know the first three, A, B, C. With our fourth finger, we're gonna play the D. We're gonna to add to that a whole step up, all right? Remember, we're doing natural notes. 
we're going to shift with our first finger to E on the seventh fret. Now we have our F second finger on the eighth fret. Fourth finger plays the G and then shift up to the A. Okay, that's our A string. The D string, we know our first three, D, E, F. We're going to play G with our fourth finger on the same string. We're going to shift with our first finger on A, a whole step from that. Now we have to play B, third finger, play C, fourth finger, right next to it. Now we're going to shift up to that last note, D, with our fourth finger. Okay, very simple way to do that. G, our next string, which we already know the first three, G, A, B. And remember guys, keep in mind when you're spelling things out musically, it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, back to A. Okay, so that's why we have G, A, B. Okay, so our first three notes we already know. The next note, C, we're gonna play that with our fourth finger. Shift up, play D with our first finger. E gonna be played with our third finger. F is going to be played with our fourth finger. Remember, we're doing natural notes. Now we can shift up to G with our fourth finger. And let me just add that it's very important to say these notes aloud and play them at the same time so you can get used to hearing them and knowing where they are on the fretboard. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And take it as slow as you possibly need to. You don't need to be Speedy Gonzalez with this type of exercise, especially for the beginner stage. So the first two exercises, or the first exercise that we learn is three notes on one string, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And then the other exercise was playing it up the fretboard on one string. So take it nice and slow. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise, producing that round sound, warm bass tone sound. And if you're interested in more exercises like this and access to the PDF files, DerekBennett.com is where you need to be, Bass Nation Academy. Again, I'll put that link in the description. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. I think I said that already, but that's fine. It needs to be repeated. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.